A local researcher and musician has reached a scientific breakthrough. It's music science. News 12's Amelia Greer has more on a recent study that is picking up traction. She joins us now live with the details. Amelia. A local concert pianist developed a way for people with disabilities to learn how to play piano through the use of colored blocks. In her Notes to Blocks program, students of all ages and skill sets can learn how to connect through the universal language of music. Martha Suma Chadwick grew up as a concert pianist and always felt there was something else to be discovered. Her recent study published in the Helen Journal of Human Exceptionality received praise for her collaborative work in a new form of therapy, which involves a keyboard with colored keys. It came about in 2019 when Suma Chadwick did an inclusive program at the Chattanooga Public Library involving children with autism. They wanted to be able to learn uh, the same piece of music with their neurotypical peers sitting in the same place. They had just gotten keyboards donated from UTC. So that's how this kind of all came about. And I designed the system, hand drew a lot of graphs out, took a lot of time, and a friend of mine suggested, you know, why don't you just automate this and read in an XML file? And I thought, of course, that's a great idea. A child she was working with years ago was challenged with autism and cerebral palsy. It, you know, you, you're talking about speech, motor, and cognition processes that can be helped through music. The brain oscillations, the heart rate, the muscles, everything starts to move with the rhythm, and the therapy is incredible. Through this music therapy, he was able to work through motor movements with his hands, despite having a hand tremor. He couldn't read music but he could read the colors. And so that's how we said, ah, we can do this with symbols and take away all this, you know, the, the, the need for cognition to be able to learn to read the music and just do it basically on response. The project has been up and running for about a year now locally, and this is only just the beginning. The program is entirely free and available for print or online. For more details on her research, you can visit our website at WDEF.com. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Amelia Greer, News 12.